Today we are going to discuss about the next safety device that is relief wall and safety wall. First we had seen the alarm annunciator, a completely a different operation. It is a indicator, visual and audio indicator. Then we had seen a rupture disc, which is a self-destructing disc, which is whenever the overpressure is there, it is going to give me an indication. Now there is another system, another wall that will give me an overpressure indication, not just that it will take care of the system in the rupture disc the disadvantage that every time the overpressure is taking place you have to replace it with a new rupture disc but over here in the safety wall it is taking care of the safety operation in throughout the plant how it is doing we will see first we will see what is a safety wall a relief wall video i will release it later on Safety wall is basically designed to release or uh, open the excess pressure available inside the equipment or a vessel. It will not stop at work once it release the pressure. It will come back to the original position or it will reclose once the equipment pressure reaches to its normal condition. So this device is not going to rupture. This device is going to indicate that the overpressure is there. Not just that, it will release it and it will reclose back and allow the plant to function properly. This is the actual footage of the safety wall. Now we will see the characteristics of the safety wall. First we will see the flow sheet symbol of it. This is a flow sheet symbol for the pressure safety wall. The abbreviated at PSV that is a pressure safety wall. Now we will see the types of the pressure safety wall. That is a spring loaded safety wall and pilot operated safety wall. We will see now the cost. It is ranging from 2500 to almost 1,50,000 rupees. The price is on the higher side because a safety device will play a vital role in the safety of the complete plant. This is a pa partial list for the manufacturer. As I told you, I am purposely giving you the cost and the list of the manufacturer so that it will be easy for your project and it will be easy to go and search for the placements in those companies. So that is a fluid take, Astray, then uh, Voltronic. These are the companies who are into the manufacturing. There are many more companies, but I had listed few. Now we will see what is the purpose of using the safety wall. Suppose there is a blockage of the device. I can explain you with the diagram that suppose there is a blockage of the device. This is a flash drum block vapor is there okay now blockage vapor is that because of the blockage vapor okay because of the blockage vapor they can pressurize the liquid so the vapor is blocking the liquid inlet there in that cases we need to exhaust it into the atmosphere or into the some other vessel so whenever it reaches to 200 psig it will exhaust to the atmosphere or any other vessel this is a blockage vessel operation next is exposure to the fire that is in the case of fire obviously whenever there is a fire temperature increases temperature is directly proportional to the pressure so pressure is also going to increase and to the over pressure a safety wall is going to react thermal reactions or thermal expansion chemical reactions heat exchanger tube ruptures i can show you with the diagram this is a internal structure of the heat exchanger that is the shale and tube construction is there and a fluid flowing either in the both direction to exchange the heat or in a counter current that is in an opposite direction the one fluid may be that is a cold fluid is maybe flowing in this direction and other fluid may be flowing in the opposite direction suppose a rupture is taking place inside them a tube fluid flashing due to the tube get ruptured then that will increase the pressure inside it so we if we are using pressure wall as you can see a pressure wall is already uh, used there so once you use the pressure wall the rupture excess over pressure can be released easily into the atmosphere okay now a cooling system failure this is a typical example of any chemical plant that cooling system failure is taking place or temperature may rise uh, exponentially and that can be a problem to it. This is a cut view of a pressure safety wall, a bonnet which is the outer structure. This structure should be strong enough 
so that any mechanical vibration it can bear properly a spring which is attached over here a spring is playing a vital role in safety control wall because depending upon the set point the spring tension is adjusted this is a disc which is been uh, which is or the holder is there this is a adjusting ring this is a inlet nozzle where the pressure will inlated from here and this is a body part again a body part should be strong enough to handle the inlet pressure now we will see the construction details of it suppose if i put the set point of the system i want that after 30 psi the vessel pressure vessel is not going to handle the pressure and it must get exhaust into the atmosphere so depending upon the 13 psi set point i will adjust this spring tension in a such a way that whenever the pressure exceeds about 30 psi this disc will gradually get open up in the upward direction that means the spring will start compressing as the spring start compressing the disc will starting open up because of the pressure that pressure where the disc start opening and that pressure which is above the set point is called as a popping pressure so as the inlet pressure increases about the popping pressure a spring start compressing and a disc start lifting up and the pressure will move at the outlet okay as soon as the inlet pressure go below the set point the spring will recompress now okay it will push the disc down and it will close the button for the inlet vapor now the vapor can no more go into the outside atmosphere it will stay inside the vessel or equipment i had put the two graphs over here purposely the reason is this graph if you explain it with the help of the graph it will be always an added advantage there okay so i will explain it with the graph this is a working graph for a pressure safety wall the graph is plotted against the sitting force and a pressure system pressure what is sitting force and a system pressure first we will see a system pressure is a inlet pressure which is there of the equipment whereas a sitting force this force which is adjusted with the help of the spring depending upon your set point okay so let's see the working graph at zero system pressure your sitting force is maximum that is it, it is in the completely it is applying the full pressure on it so as your system pressure started increasing your sitting force started gradually started dropping down or linearly started dropping down so at 90% system pressure your sitting force is almost 20% and when the system pressure reaches to the 100% your system sitting force is almost 0% okay now there is one more graph to explain that that is a working profile or the pressure profile of the pressure safety wall this such a type of graph are very important this graph will indicate that you actually understand the working of the pressure safety wall so even if you are writing an exam even if you are giving a interview the such a type of graph will de definitely give a good impression on the examiner or on the recruiter so let's see what is there in the graph this is a set pressure which is assigned to it so as the pressure increases above the set pressure the wall this is a shift over here so wall will start at lifting up okay once it started gradual lifting up when the maximum lifting will take place when the pressure reaches to the popping pressure that is it is a capacity to lift the disc and compress the spring so once it reaches to the prop propping pressure the wall opening will take place that time as a wall opening is taking place at that time your pressure the vessel pressure is going to remain the constant okay once it reaches to the maximum allowable working pressure that time now your system pressure will start de gradually decreasing or your vessel pressure will start gradually decreasing once it reaches to the safety point that is this is a safety pressure of it okay that time your wall will remain in the constant position that is fully open position but your system pressure is gradually decreasing as the system pressure or a vessel pressure decreases below the set point 
the shifting or the wall lifting will gradually drop down and it will drop down to almost zero that is a resetting position so as again the system pressure increases okay once it reaches to that popping position again the wall will start opening it will let it open the complete or it is fully open and relieve the pressure as the pressure relieved completely and the pressure reaches to almost to the set point it will start it dropping down at this position the shifting or the lifting of the wall is or the shutting down of the wall is taking place and the pressure remain constant over here this is a working profile or a pressure profile of the control wall okay and this is a working profile or working graph of the control wall now we will see the advantages related to it of course the wide range of uh, material is uh, available wide range of chemical uh, compatibility is available high temperature range and standard piping dimension this standard piping dimension is really very important especially when you are going into the designing of the safety wall and the compatibility with the fouling that is any material is a part of it that is a fouling or any dirt surface is there then it is it can be easily installed so any particles are part of the liquid it is not going to hamper the performance of the safety wall next we will see the disadvantages disadvantages is the leakage is a problem so whenever if the continuous movement of opening and closing of the wall is taking place definitely after certain period of time a leakage will be there so the soft seat is can be a problem to it a hard seat can be a better option for it long simmer and a long flow period is there yes uh, it is for the longer period of operation it may take place prone to chatter on the liquid surface unless with a special trim if the special trimming is used that is a good packing and everything is given or chattering problem can be re reduced down okay vulnerable to the effects of the initial pressure lost that is it is very sensitive to the initial pressure effects on the initial pressure loss sensitive to the effect of the back pressure yes and the limited to the pressure size ratio is there that is another disadvantage of it this is one of the application in the application first i will discuss what are the parts there this is a vessel or the equipment this is a inlet flow towards the vessel this is overflow line which is connected to the drain lt is standing for level transmitter this is another drain line which is available and this is a outlet line which is available and it is also connected to the level controller this level controller is also connected over here to the level transmitter measuring the lower level and the higher level this is a minimum recirculation line which is another input to it this is a vent line and this is yes you guess it right this is a pressure safety wall which is connected okay this is pg is standing for the pressure gauge and pt is standing for the pressure transmitter so the pressure gauge is a indicator pressure transmitter is giving signal to pall that is yes right pressure alarm low low and pressure alarm high high okay this is a psv discharge to the drain it can drain the liquid it can give the flare that is it can give the flame output you must have observed that output in a chimney and etc the flame output is also possible with the help of the safety wall or it will exhaust it to the atmosphere so as you can see the pressure safety wall is usually mounted on the top of the liquid so that it will be easy for it to exhaust into the atmosphere okay that's all about the pressure safety wall hope you all like it please like and subscribe my channel next we will see the relief wall thank you